So I had a new evaluation this morning and it's a woman who has a long past medical history, a couple rare autoimmune things going on and coming to see me because she's having like sudden, what she described as like heaviness in her leg and that's causing her leg to buckle and she's falling as a result of this. So her daughter's concerned and she's maybe 66, 67. Uh, her daughter's concerned, her family's concerned. She doesn't want to lose her independence. Totally reasonable, rational fears and concerns. I tested her, took her history, put her through kind of my physical therapy lens and gamut. I have no idea why this leg is all suddenly and unpredictably buckling on her. No clue. And I told her and her daughter as much. Her daughter is an occupational therapist. I don't know why. It's it's. There's kind of three buckets that I work in as a physical therapist. One is nervous system. One is muscular system. One is skeletal system. And usually when someone's got an issue going on in one of those buckets, we can reproduce their problem in some way. We can make it hurt or we can make it tingle or we can make it weak. In this case, we I couldn't do that. I put her through a bunch of different movements um, had her do a few different tests. We couldn't do it. Here's what I told her. She's concerned about losing strength. Totally valid concern. What I told her is if the bullseye on the target is this heaviness in her leg, I don't, I don't know that I can hit the bullseye with what I do as a PT and as a trainer. Like, we can certainly get everything around it stronger, but I don't know that we're going to solve this problem in the scope of a of physical therapy. I don't know that that's possible because I can't replicate and reproduce reliably the pain and discomfort that she's in. That being said, you can't go wrong getting strong, right? Like, no matter what, she's diabetic, she's got these autoimmune diseases, she's overweight, like... There's orthopedic issues happening. No matter what, getting her stronger is going to help her. Almost, almost without exception. So what that means is we gotta get her stronger. She needs a trained professional to help her do that. I wouldn't just send her to a gym right now. I wouldn't send her to any personal trainer. She needs someone who can handle her extensive medical history uh, and then work within that to find the right dosage of exercises and the right appropriate movements to actually get her stronger and better. Um, so we're, we might not hit the bullseye. We will hit the target with what we're doing. We will hit, uh, yeah, the dartboard with what we're going to do as far as strength training her. We will absolutely improve her life. Um, I don't know that we're going to solve that heaviness issue. I think she needs to see another provider for that. We had a good discussion about who that might be. Um, other other doctors who she's seen in the past, who she might end up going back to. But uh, I want people to know that it's really important that we acknowledge. I, I said I, just what I said to you, I said to her. Because um, I want to set a realistic expectation of like, that I don't know what's going on here. And I'm going to admit my ignorance and and tell you that I can't solve this. That I, that I don't think I can hit the bullseye, I do think I can hit the target. I do think we can help her uh, in other areas of her life uh, through strength training and through accountability, which is a lot of what I do. Um, so I just wanted to share that. That was today's conversation in the clinic. Um, and that's it. I appreciate you. Thank you for spending some time and your attention with me today. Keep moving and keep getting better every day.